Hi everybody. What I'm giving you today and downloading is the first in a series of early fall trends. And this first of four different videos is about long dusters. So I would like to see what you think. And also, if you have a long duster, snap a photo and show me your long dusters. Let me know what you think about long dusters. Uh, the dusters that you see, I will put down below, up below the video where they came from so that you can check for them. As far as I know, they or something very much like it are still available. I also have two dusters that are not in the videos. One is from Torrid, which I had to have hemmed. It was a little too long and I'm waiting for that to come back from the seamstress. And another one I'm waiting to come is from Fashion to Figure. So as soon as those other two dusters come in, I will include them on a coming video. The next video that you're going to be seeing in video two of early fall trends is going to be t-shirt dresses. So enjoy your long dust. Hi, Brenda here. And this is the first in the video series that I'm doing on fall trends. And the first trend I'm gonna talk about is dusters. And the dusters come in many fabrics. One of the fabrics that I'm highlighting today is chiffon. It's very see-through, it's very flowy. And plaid, plaid is very, very popular this year. Also mesh and embroidery. I have a duster in mesh and embroidery. And when does denim not in style for each season that comes along? I have a denim duster. I also have a mesh an embroidery lace duster and I have a duster that is actually like a poncho. Now I'll go through each one and then I will show you how I would style them. The first one is like a buffalo check plaid in chiffon. This is from Catherine's. It's part of their early fall collection. It's an extra long shirt. We call it a duster. So if you hold on for a second, I'll show you how I would style this. Here's the buffalo plaid duster in chiffon. It's nice and long. I would throw it on just as a jacket and leave it open. Now I have it on with distressed jeans, but it can also be worn with leggings or dress pants for work. The sleeves roll up, which is how I have them right now, but they also come down for a long sleeve for winter. Now, another thing that I would also do with this for me, now remember, I'm an apple shape. So, I would handle things a little differently than maybe another body type would do. So, I would take this and take a belt. And belt it. Shaping it a little bit, pulling it down. So you can do this also with your pants. Chiffon's very flowy. I'm going to try on the other duster, which is a different color plaid. Here's the second duster. It's just a different plaid. It's the same cut has more color in it the other one, but it is chiffon, it's very flowy. I would do the same thing. You can wear it over, say, black tights and a black turtleneck or t-shirt or different color pants. Like I said, I have it on with jeans to kind of snazz it up. And once again, I would do the same thing with this one. I would belt it, up. I'm gonna belt it, and button a couple of buttons. And it gives it some shape, I think. Here is a belt that's going to snap in the back. Turn it around. Throwing on a belt really jazzes up an outfit. You have to get used, like I have to get used to doing these things too. Sometimes just that little extra little bit that we put on an outfit will really make the difference. So this is like a kind of a fake OB belt. An OB belt is one that looks like it ties around and is tied, but this is fake because it really doesn't do it. So, let me see here. Get myself pulled together. So this is a little more of a dress-up look. You can see how this will flow 
leave it partly open, partly closed. You can dress it up, or dress it down. Here is the mesh duster with embroidery. Now, when you first look at this hanging on the hanger, you think, boy, that is really dressy. But they're showing these with jeans and a t-shirt. You could wear them with leggings and a different t-shirt, but they are definitely putting them on in a much more relaxed fashion, other than dressing them up the way it looks like you would. So you put on your pair of jeans, t-shirt, you throw on one of these really, it's see-through, very alluring dusters. I love it. To put it with a lot of different colors. I have it on with just the white here. It's very comfortable, very lightweight. This is also from the Catherine's Early Fall Collection. It's a nice, long length, unstructured poncho, except it has a neckline. There's a lot you can do this. You could belt the whole thing, but I kind of don't want to go with belting the whole thing. I'll tell you what I like to do. Because I am an apple and I don't necessarily like my back. I'm going to half belt it. Therefore, I get the shape I want in the front, gives me shape, but in the back, I get the free flow. So I accentuate what I want in the front, gives me some shape. There again, you could put this with a blouse, a pattern, dress pants, black wool pants. You could do so much with it. There again, you don't even know you have it on. It's very flowy. I do like it half belted. Here's the duster of all dusters, the light chambray denim duster. Denim can go over everything, a black t-shirt dress. It can be a t-shirt and jeans. It could be dress pants. There again, it hangs down low, so it's like a jacket, but you can also button this up, put a belt on the outside, just leave it with one or two buttons and have it fall the way it'll fall, or I might put the butt buckle, put the belt on the inside on this one to give shape and let the jacket fall down. Oh, like so. This denim shirt is, has spandex in it. It's stretch. It came from QVC. It's part of their denim and company line and it was on clearance on the website. I believe I paid $32 for it. It's comfortable because it's nice and stretchy and I think there's a lot that can be done with it. So here is the belt on the inside with the jacket over top. I think this would also look cute. Dress pants, dress shirt underneath, over a dress, belted. You can't go wrong with a denim long duster. I almost forgot to tell you. When you have a denim where you don't have pattern in it or a lot of embroidery, you can add the scarf, which I would definitely do, especially in cooler weather. I would throw in a scarf for my pop of color. I have one here that has daisies on it, but you can just about do anything. This is my favorite lace and mesh duster. Comes from Home Shopping Network in a line that I'm falling in love with that I need to share for you. It's called La Bellum. It is done by the lead singer from Lady, Lady Antebellum, which is a country band that wins all kinds of awards. Well, she came with this very, very feminine and romantic line. And there again, she puts it on with a tee and jeans, and I just love it. I think you almost want to do the contrast between dressing down and putting on something this fancy but you can really do anything you want with it. The, the shirt that I've put underneath comes from Style & Co from Macy's. So I've gotten everything that I'm showing you here tonight for the trends for fall, early fall, from various different places, but tonight I'm focusing on, and remember, the long duster. And I think you would wanna add a long duster in your early fall wardrobe. Well, there was the long duster video. 
I hope you enjoyed it. I know I'll tell you one thing I learned. Don't operate without a mirror. It's like flying as a trapeze artist without a net. I noticed that my belts were too low and everything was scrooched around, so I'm going to make a promise to you that in the future, when I'm going to be changing clothes and showing you outfits, I want a mirror because I think the belts were all too low and I was a little disgruntled. But don't let that take away from the fact that long dusters are the way to go for early fall. Let me know what you think. Subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Remember, when we get to 200 subscribers, we're going to have another giveaway. And I think it's going to be a beautiful early fall scarf. See you soon.